all and wonderful and we are happy that you could be there with us on splash 105.5 fm your integrity station i'll be raising against time this morning because i have just a few minutes to be here four minutes gone past eight welcome back to the conversation as the second part of the program i've got three major issues to take a look at here but majority of these will be that you will be contributing to this one uh, let me start here um I, I was reading this book yet again nigeria dancing on the brink uh, it was written by john campbell john campbell uh, was a former uh, officer from the u.s as an ambassador who served as a u.s department of state foreign service officer in nigeria uh was an ambassador here from 2004 to 2007 and it was a political counselor from 1988 to 1990. on page 84 of that book he said he called this chapter six titled power sharing or zoning and said nigerians who were engaged in that transition have all told me essentially the same story the understanding in 1998 1999 was that Henceforth, the presidency will alternate between the North and the South, between Christian and Muslim. Its rotation will be a manifestation of federal character. After one term, Obasanjo will step aside for his vice president, Atiku Abubakar. This was a book published, uh, you know, let me quickly bring it out sometime uh yeah 2010 sometime 2010 was this particular one printed and it's talked about power sharing and zoning so should one zone be talking about having the numbers and that they're not going to play the second fiddle okay we'll, we'll take a look at it someday and uh, we'll, we'll trash it out somehow anyway apart from that the issue of ritual killing is really up on my mind this morning. Does ritual killing, this ritualist for money, this ritual killing for money, does it work really? And if we, if we doubt the potency of ritual killing, then why are people engaging in it? Why are people still engaging in this ritual killing thing if you have the time join me on facebook live and i'd like you to be part of the conversation and make comment there i dropped a i dropped a post on facebook this morning and that post with pictures if you have the mind to watch those pictures uh, with pictures i just did command of western nigeria security network code named operation amotek who arrested three suspects Muidin Abdul Rashid Alani Wajun and Ismail Muraina with human parts of a 73 year old man named Adebisi Samuel. The three suspects paraded as killers of the 73 year old man confessed receiving 35,000 naira to get his head for money ritual. What is the attraction to this money ritual? Is it really working? How can we put a stop to this evil act? You see, what the other woman says, I don't know if this really work or not, but no matter how they do ritual, they can have money like, like Dangote. That's what he said here. And uh, on money, Kyle the James Cutley says, thirty-five thousand, ha. And I'm wondering, Afola Biolabi say, can we put a stop to this evil act? Capital no. Unless we put a stop to poverty, just because of thirty-five thousand naira, they killed a soul. Did you know how many they have killed because of a token they will give them? And secondly, it can't stop because those people sending them are not ordinary men. They are men of re respectable characters. Do you say respectable? You said men of high profile. We just need to be vigilant and security conscious. And the problem is that people don't believe in security agencies again. Good morning. Olagunju Tauhid says, oh my God. It's worth nothing killing your fellow human being for money. Because of 35,000 naira, they did it? Why? And Prince Ademola Aladi says, Kidos, 
to Amotekun. Ola Yinka Badmos, what if it was just the victim's body that was found? We all would have said it's Funani Head's men, not knowing it's our own very own brothers. That's why I said we should let security operatives catch culprits first before we decide who is who. Not just someone was kidnapped, then we decided it's Head's men. Thank you, Ola Yinka Badmos. Oshiyomi Olua shows as if they are not arrested now, we will be shouting Fulani Head's men up and down. That's Oshiyomi Olua Shion. Hello, Splash. If it, if it truly works, does it worth human precious lives? Knowing full well that they can't form one. Thank you, George Olawale Ezekiah. I was just asking, just wanted to know if it works. If it works. Is it worth killing someone because of money? So you can join me. Uh, go to Facebook f- fan page of Splash FM and make your comment there. Right there, I am on live on Facebook, and you can join me as we take a look at some of these issues. The third part is when we join um, these, the, the human rights part of the program this morning, and uh, you'll be getting to, to understand some issues around parading suspects, you know, and uh, what are the rights of a suspect? Should a suspect be paraded? And when they are paraded, what do they have to seek redress if they were their rights have been infringed upon? We will take a look at that today. Glad to see citizens gavel on the program this morning. And lastly, uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be joined by uh, Julian Galali. Uh, Today, this morning, so that we could talk about the VAT controversy as part of the conversation this morning. So let's go. Uh, the issue of ritual killings, I'd like to take your calls. Does it really work? Uh, you know, this gentleman, I don't know whether I call it gentleman, were apprehended. And the, 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 the ritualist, the Babalawu, or are you, uh, the herbalist, had a pot in his hand and said that he had burnt the head in that port and the remains of that head is found in the port and so why do we involve in this act why and is there an end to it 0809 what will make you feel that it's okay to kill a man for 35,000 naira and i saw Two people involved in this killing buried him in a shallow grave. How long will it take you to expend 35,000 naira? Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello? Good morning, thank you for joining us. What's the name where you're calling from? Oh, okay, my name is... Um, I'm calling from um, LA LA side. Lake from LA LA. Good morning. Let's have your take. Okay, so in fact, um, I'm calling any registration for the first time in my life because uh, this I need to ring a bell for you. <laughs> okay, this um, thank you. This uh, question is a very personal question. So uh, what I would like to say about it is um, what I feel that push people to this kind of um, activity is um, number one, I think, is the love for money. Because even those people that are buying those parts from them are, are using the parts for ritual. Then you see somebody that, that sold or killed a person just because of 35,000 naira. So, the, the main reason why I see people kill their fellow women because of, because of money. Then, who okay, cares again? When, when you feel that um, you can kill your fellow woman because of... In fact, even if it's 10 billion naira, it doesn't work it. To kill your fellow Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love that. Lekon said, even if it's for 10 billion naira, it's worth killing a human being. Let's see. Hello, good morning. 
It's gone. Please, okay. you can call me now. We have to uh, get your comment on this one. 0809 155 1055. 0805 699 8678. Hello, good morning. That's not coming on. I guess um, there's something wrong with this. Let's see. Uh, Hello, are you there? Yeah, this is from Abasha. I'm calling from there. Okay. Well, I guess we can re- adjust that and see what we can make out of it. Let's see who is here. Hello. Oh, the network service is a bit frustrating this morning. It's good morning. morning. Hello, good morning. Where go? Thank you for joining me. Oh, your question this morning is also very surprising to me. I worked in a bank for over 25 years, and there was no day anybody complained that money moved in the song group. So I always ask myself about this ritual killing. Where does the money come from? And if they don't get the money, they will not continue doing it. Thank you. So I think, I think it's more or less of a metaphysical issue that is beyond our own knowledge. Except those who are involved are prosecuted and dealt with seriously. I think this thing will continue because nobody is saying his money is missing. Who is carrying the money to death? That is what is beyond our knowledge. God will bless Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I've been thinking about it. Where do they get the money from Bridge Hall? From Central Bank? From which bank? Where is the money coming from? Where do they get the money from when you burn someone's body part and then you put it in, uh, in, 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 in a pot or something, put some soap there, like we see in Nollywood, or put some calories on it, and then you call something and money, money appears. Is that the way, is this the way it happened in real life? You know, there's a difference between the real life and what you see on cameras. Where do those monies come from? Hello, good morning. Who is here? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining yeah, me good this morning. morning. Yeah, this is Amobasha, and I'm coming from Badi. Amobasha, good morning. Of well. kidna- yes, the problem of kidnapping, ritual, and all these things. Start from the home. You know, I said something on this platform, that with our home is also an institution. How do we manage in our home? How do we manage in our children? How do we train in our children? That's how, we, that's how this thing starts. We need to train our system in a, in a, in a, in a good way. In a religious ma- ma- manner. That's why we're having this, but, uh, this uh, element of. Uh, hello? With you, just end a hello? thought, thank you. Uh, it's gone. Uh, hello, good morning. Let's see who's there. No one? No one here. Hello, good morning. Good thank morning. you for joining me. What's the where you're calling me from? I'm Koye Ladile. Welcome, let's do this quickly. Yes, it's a nice one you are looking at. And just like one of the other said, blame the home, blame the parents. As parents, we have a responsibility to incorporate virtues into our children. We need to show them the world. We need to show them the path to follow in life. This is lost to many families. They just give birth to children. They leave them to become a problem to the world. Not living that religion. We also that religion has, religion has saved us in this part of the world. Religious value has a lot to do. My take today is what are we preaching that the world is so lost? What is the message on our people today? Both in the in the churches, both in the mosque. What are we telling this part of God? Our society has become so godless. These are the areas we really look at. You know, you are mentioning 35,000 naira, killing for 35,000. What will make a policeman to kill for 20 naira, for 200 naira, for 100 naira, for 50 naira? Just because he has got the power of the gun. Just because he doesn't, just because he thinks too much of himself in wearing the police uniform. So when we want to look at it, we need to look at it holistically. We have we have, we have lost our morals. 
And that is what has resulted in some of these attitudes. It's very amazing when you see these youth nowadays. They want to ride a big car. They want to live big. They want to eat. They want to go to Suya Point. They just think of enjoyment. They don't think of work. They don't think... Even to, uh, uh, there was a car I wanted to give out. And I asked in the church. I said, do we like to have that car? It was an old Pelika car. They were not willing to get it. They would rather prefer something bigger or something bigger. You know? So this is the world we have found ourselves in. We need to go back and begin to do what is right. We need to go back and begin to invest into the youth. Elderly people everywhere, we have the responsibility of making sure we inform them correctly so that we can have a better world. That's my contribution. Thank you, you, Reverend Gladine. I appreciate your contribution this morning. Yes, it's good. I mean, we, we he brought it so 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 fine. I said, why would a police officer kill for twenty naira? I mean, thirty-five thousand naira maybe is even too big uh, for for a life to be lost. What's the worth of a human life in Nigeria? When I come back, I'll be be, be joining uh, the citizens' gavel after this timeout. You can still go to the Facebook fan page, make your comment there. I'd love to read from you. Good morning. Don't go away. Bode, why do you define for kitchen? My dear, now spoon to drink of Melissa. Honey, take comics. Just here. Drink and get relieved. Yes, so salad comics for scratch, scratch throat. Comics get the instrument to fan and tire for Just here. Drink and get relief from cough. Ide kulele to drink. Ah, are they relieved now? I love comics. Now, only just limited the distribute comics. Products you make you drowsy. These symptoms never stop after three days. Make you go see your doctor at all. Comics. Ide kulele. <laughs> Brother and sister, be free to follow your hustle. No time to waste time. Don't let my baby hold you down. Make sure you're protected. Star 987 Ash. Correct my lady at one. Star 987 Ash. You can tell my lady bye bye. Star 987 Ash. Dial star 987 Ash to subscribe to the AXA Malaria Plan with as low as 450 Naira. AXA, know you can. Ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-
breakfast is ready. <laughs> Mommy, why are you always excited when we have golden morn? Because it helps me nourish you. You know it contains and and vitamin, vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Enjoy golden morn with your family every day. It contains iron and vitamin C to nourish you day by day. Golden morn, make every day amazing. America. <laughs> Bye, can you open up so you phone like Kakia, Kobe, Sidanfa, and talk for Jabrata? Bankia, Papole, and I did a job in Lute, and then I saw your boy was out. Open wallet, wallet, can, card, can, open up one room, Google Play Store, and the App Store. Milo! Yes! <laughs> Tell me first, why do I give you Milo every morning? Because every day I play like a baller, I roll like a sprinter, I love... Goodness of malls, milk and cocoa helps them make the most of every day. Milo, the energy to go further. <laughs> Good day. Now what do you define for kitchen? My dear, now soon to drink of Melissa. <laughs> Honey, take comics. Just here, drink and get relieved. Yes, so. Sell a comics for scratch, scratch throats. Comics get the instrument to fan and can in a scene. Just here, drink and get relief from cough. He de kulele to drink. Ah, I be relieved now. I love comics. Now only just limited to distribute comics. Products you make you drowsy. His symptoms never stop after three days. Me to wakago see your doctor. Comics. He de Thank you for being there with us and uh, we're happy that you could join us on this part of the program, The Conversation. Thank you for watching. Uh, Prince Shola Shodeke, thank you for watching. Abidin Ola Dimeji Tokwe Alabi is also watching. Uh, Olomodosi Adeguega Oluatosi is also watching us. Aiza Pada Padiao is equally watching us live on Facebook. I'd like to thank you, Olomodosi Adeguega Oluatosi. You said you're watching us from Texas, Houston, Texas. US. The ritual killing phenomenon is such a pitiable, shocking, evil deception. The father put people in bondage of lazy and wicked mind. More devastating that those who should be guarding lives of their own are the ones maiming lives on the premise of rush for mammon. The socio-cultural mindset is shamefully bedeviled with superstitious mythology and events which have no empirical validation. I'm happy the media group is dwelling on these and more orientation need to be done to change negative social cultural mindset. So wicked and shameful act. And you, you went on to quote scriptures. Raji Ola Yemi Omobolale is also watching. Ola Joke Ulufemi Adigwega is equally watching us this morning. Good morning. The Bible says my people perish because they lack, lack knowledge. The truth is that it... If they have good thinking, they will not do ritual killing. Even if they get the money, what did they want to buy with it? Build a house? 
buy cars, marry both beautiful girls, ladies, what become of those things after the next 20 years? They will not be relevant anymore. We have people that did it in the 80s who bought 504 salon car. Please, can they bring it out again if they have knowledge? They won't kill for a ritual. Prince Shalashodeke, there's nothing like money ritual. What people don't know is that you will attract or compress the wealth that is already destined for you for a short life, which means the money that is your wealth will come wala wala. I wonder what that means, but you must die young. Thank you, Prince Shola Shodeke. Olajumake Olufemi Adibuiga and Shola Shodeke are there with us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll be going into the issue of human rights now uh, as I welcome Uje Deji Mushibolato on the program today. Uh, Uje Deji Mushibolato from Citizens Gavel. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Well, thank How you are you today? Me. Very fine, sir. Yeah, so we thank you for coming. Uh, I have this topic and then also one thing that i wanted to also intervene this morning the topic for us today is identification parade visa in the act of parading suspects actually section 36 of 5 of the constitution of nigeria 1999 as amended provides that everyone who is charged with a criminal offense shall be presumed to be innocent until proved guilty the intention of the law is to effect that only a law court can pronounce a, weak, a crime suspect innocent or guilty based on evidence before it. I know that the African Charter of Human and People's Rights also guaranteed the right of a suspect to a fair trial. Um, to further protect the right of crime suspect, the administration of criminal justice, according to this law, ACJL 2015, provided a certain conditions that must be adhered to by investigating security agencies in handling cases. One of such conditions is that statements of suspects must be recorded in the presence of a legal representative. By virtue of this provision, the liberty and privacy of criminal suspects under the law of the land are protected beyond any orchestrated intent of the law enforcement agency. But help me, what is identification parade? What is suspect parade? Okay. Which one is lawful? Okay. Which one is not lawful? Um, so to answer shortly, um, identification parade is lawful, while um, parading of su suspects is not lawful. Um, identification parade, which they also call um, lineup, is when um, the police ar arranges like um, the suspects and people and other people with similar. Um, physical attributes and then they ask the victim to identify this, mm. this person so when um one per when one person has committed the crime and then you the the, 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 the police are trying to ascertain um, the identity who of it? who actually did it actually when they were not caught in the act so these persons are arraigned together with other people with physical attributes so if it's one person they arrange four they arrange four people mm. and then they ask the victim to identify this person and um identification parade is not necessary when the person was caught in the act when um the person is familiar with the victim. The victim has met this person before and could and identify. Can, yes, say for sure that it was this, this person. Yes, the man who did this yes. to me. No, that's uh, identification that's parade. Identification do you parade. need to call the journalist to come and cover identification parade? No, you do not need to. You, um, this is done in um, police office, um, maybe their parade ground, but no media is um, supposed to be there. Usually, yeah. we do, people don't even know when identification parade is done. done. That is at, at this point I'm not sure if it's actually still been done. Mm. If people actually um still go and identify their I want to believe that in some cases there are people have to identify the um, the, the mm. suspect. So that's identification parade, right. yes. No no the suspect parade. Yes. The but what what the police do it's not a victim parade. No, it's not. Because you don't see a victim coming to say that this is the person. Okay. So what we what we see in the media and on, um, television. on, te on television and everywhere is that suspect parade. That's one where they call the media to cover and then there's um, a lot of questioning and all. So that's... Um, hmm. 
that's suspect parent no, that I, that's one that is that there's nowhere in the law so, that justifies. I want, to, I, want, I want to I want to establish how how consistent is this parade with the provision of Agja, the provision of the constitution, the presumption of innocence, innocence. you know, before you go to court. Is it is it consistent? No, it is not. I mean, there, like I said, there's nowhere in the constitution that says that suspects should be paraded, even if they have confessed mm. the, to committing the crime. There's nowhere in the there's nowhere in Agja, the constitution. But um, you see, the police um, say that. Um, in the Nigerian Police Act, that there's no way that says that they can't do it, you know, because they say that because the constitution doesn't boldly say that okay, you can't do it, so they're you saying that to do it. so they're saying that oh, they, they're not saying we can't do it. So, so, so let's say there was an express provision in the law that they says, do it. aside from this section 36 that says that oh, every um, every suspect is presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt in the court of law, that, that's what gives the court the only. That, that that gives the court the only right to pronounce someone guilty, mm. and so the um, the implied extraction is that since there's no other there's no place that says oh we can't parade suspects, uh, there's no oh. law that that so is also holding us not back. Not to yes. them. All right, thank you, Ola Joke Olufemi for being there. Razak Alade Ogumara Dekule Abdugani Mansuru Oluato Adisa. Ola Joke Olufemi. Thank you all of you for watching us. I know you wanted me to mention your name since I've been mentioning names, people are already watching. But thank you for being there. Now I I'd like us to look at another part after this time out. And that part is very essential for me. Uh it's it's a part of what becomes of someone paraded by the police and at the end of the day is not guilty of you know the way it was being paraded. EFCC does it. Yes. Sometimes they even ask them to face the wall and parade them from the back. But, I mean, what becomes of someone who is innocent when we come back after this break? Stay with us, don't go away. Now, what do you define for kitchen? My dear, now spoon to drink of Melissa. <laughs> Honey, take comics. Just here, drink and get relieved. Yes, so. Salad comics for scratch, scratch throat. Comics get destroyed to fan and die in a scene. Just here, drink and get relieved from cough. I de kulele to drink. Ah, I be relieved now. I love comics. Now, only just limited the distribute comics. Products you make you drowsy. These symptoms never stop after three days. Need to walk and go see your doctor. Comics, I de kulele. Airtel, the smartphone network. Three crowns milk, healthy moms, happy families. My prepaid meter has entered red. Oh, my money has finished. Ah, oh. Babe, calm down now. Why are you switching off everything now? With the rising cost of food and every other thing, it is only wise to manage my electricity consumption. And you know what freezers consume? You better switch to the smart way with higher thermocool inverter freezers. The 50% electricity saver. Really? 50%? Yes, so 50%. So you don't have to switch off your appliances, especially your freezer. Switch off from a life of stress. Switch to higher thermocool inverter freezer and enjoy 50% electricity saving. That means low electricity bills. Thermocool, always there for you.
Babe, that girl must be using something. Ah. Hey, Barry, what kind of something? You to see how she's always smiling, displaying her 32. <laughs> Your cuckoo writes, I know her secrets. I know what she's using. She uses it twice a day. Eh? Tell me her secrets. Hmm. I'll give you a hint. A, B, Z. A, B, Z? Yes, A, B, Z is the secret. Close-up contains antibacterial zinc, A, B, Z, which gives you three times more freshness and three times more protection, better than your regular toothpaste. Now, you know the A, B, Z secret. Eh? The new close-up is her secret. Everybody must hear. Uh-uh, you can't keep a secret. New close-up with antibacterial zinc. Triple the freshness, triple the protection. Bonio, I can't keep it easy. It's for me, M-A-B. Paracetamol. Tiro da ko balo leyo jo meji rido kita. Anti wet, anti wet. Straight to the point, we no get time to waste. I feel like you get to your number. Seven triple one. Is she safe and secure? So many things you can do. It is pure and it's so easy to remember. Seven triple one. Today is a good day. A good day to take a walk. A good day to reach for your goals. A good day to finish reading that book. A good day to connect with your friends while doing the things you love. A good day to shoot your shot. A good day to enjoy life to the fullest with Malta Guinness. Malta Guinness. Enjoy a world of good. <laughs> Now what do you define for kitchen? My dear, now so to drink of Melissa. <laughs> Honey, take comics. Just here, drink and get relief. Yes, so Sana comics for scratch, scratch throat. Comics get the instrument to fan and kind of in a scene. Just here, drink and get relief from cough. Ide kulele to drink. Ah, are they relieved now? I love comics. Now only just limited the distribute comics. Products in the trousers. These symptoms never stop after three days. Me to work and go see your doctor. Comics. Ide kulele. Thank you for being there. Good morning, Mr. Angulali. Good morning to you, my dear brother, and good morning to the great people of Boyle State. Thank you for joining us. Do we have just one minute or one and a half minutes to do this quickly? Uh, what is the status quo about this VAT controversy, particularly as we have the taking for the appeal court and the suspense from the Supreme Court? 
Yes, thank you very much. As of right now, the letter of the law in the land is the most superior order from the most superior court on the issue of VAT collection in the country is that the Federal Appeals Court has ordered maintenance of status quo, which in effect ensures that uh, the, the uh, only institution empowered uh, by law uh, to collect and distribute VAT in the country is the federal government of Nigeria through the Federal Inland Revenue Service, any state government uh, or any state uh, institution or sub-national institution attempting to do the same uh, is acting uh, in violation of the law. So uh, all of that is, is for now a nullity until a superior court uh, with a superior order, order issues a contrary uh, judgment. But that's where we are right now. Uh, and we're very confident that uh, the judicial system is going to do justice in the issue and side um, with the federal government of Nigeria based on the fact that we have pre-existing law. That is the VAT Act of 2007, which mandates the federal government to collect and distribute VAT in the country. It has not been repealed by the National Assembly. It is standing uh, as a law of the land. And we believe that the judicial system would, uh, would ensure that the letter of the VAT Act is upheld. Uh, as, as the appellate process uh, plays itself out. All right. Thank you, Ms. Angelali. We will further this discussion, you know, people are asking questions about the meaning of status quo. Is it before the case or after the case? Before the case. The status quo is before the case when FIRS was the only institution collecting and distributing that. So maintaining that status quo it means that only the FIRS is now, is, as of right now, is able, to, uh, is able to collect and distribute that. And I want to say that no business owner anywhere in the country, not in Ibadan, not in anywhere in the country, uh, should be confused about, uh, about who to pay that to. Only the FIRS, as of today, by the letter of the law. Uh, is empowered to collect that in the country. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Adrian Galali, for speaking with me briefly this morning. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Um, let's, let's, let's conclude our thoughts uh, on this one. Uh, we did much about uh, Quickly, okay. if, if someone gets justice... He's the Attorney General. You can include as many... Um, um, defendants as possible and then so the judge said the act of parading in before the press as evidence by the exhibit and next to the affidavit was uncalled for mm. and a callous disregard for his person he was shown up to the public the next day of his arrest even without any investigation conducted in the matter he was already prejudged by the police who are incompetent so so to have such so to have such function, it is the duty of the courts to pass a verdict of guilt, and this constitutes a clear breach of Section 36, Subsection 4, and 5 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on doctrine of fair hearing. So majorly, monetary damages are always awarded, and um, if whatever the applicant seeks for has redressed, so you can seek for um, an apology in a um, newspaper, a media apology, just as the way you were paraded. So I think based down. Wow. Just on Sunday. Wow. And I will take the case to you. Okay. <laughs> we'll be willing to help. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for coming You're today. You're welcome. How can we reach you? So you um, you can call us on 081-02-842542. 081-02-842542. Or on our med social media outlets as, um, at Citizens Gavel. Thank you very much for being here. That's the program today on... The program will join me and my colleague tomorrow on Splash Rendezvous for an exciting moment at 5 p.m. Until then, Namulu Ashion is it? Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you, Ayo Lubusi. Have a wonderful day. Twisco, you need it. It's easy to spot the Twisco kid because they seem to be so active. Introducing new Twisco chocolate drink powder, a unique blend of cocoa, milk, and malt, fortified with Enerfort, a special blend of vitamins and minerals that helps give kids the vitality.